Okay. Okay, coil processing, start to finish. Really, the only tool you need is a good pair of game shears. Something that has this little, uh, this little cup in the blade. That helps you grab onto bones and cut right through them. We got these at Walmart for like 10 bucks on sale. Uh, normally they're like 20 bucks maybe, so I mean you're not, you're not really spending a whole lot on that tool. Uh, the only other thing you might need, I'm gonna do it without it, but you might need a good, a good sharp uh, processing knife, but uh, I haven't used that one yet tonight, so I, I'm not looking to use it. Um, start the process uh, over a bucket, uh, because it's it's gonna it's gonna spray blood. Um, you can see some of the spots inside of the bucket. Um, but uh, you'll want to do this in something where you can control the, the blood loss. And I just take the bird and I point him head down, so he kind of expands his neck, and I get the scissors on here, and then I cut the head off, and that's it. That's the whole thing. Try to control the wings because they will just fling blood everywhere. And this will take just a just a minute or so here uh, to bleed out. And uh, Again, that's, that's why we have the bucket. You'll feel the, the bird twitching as it's, uh, as it's running out of blood. And uh, pretty much when the twitching stops, we're going to get right into it. They usually twitch just a little bit toward the end there and then settle. Yeah. Uh, when you're holding it, try to keep the feet out from out from inside of your fingers and try to control the wings. You saw the wings break free and man, it really sprayed the blood around when it did that. But the feet is really important. Don't let them, don't let them get their, their, their claws, their, their talons below your fingers because they, they're, they're able to kick their way out. It's, it's pretty, pretty amazing. They're strong little birds. And... That looks like it's almost... We're hit. pretty much at the end of it here. You can you can you can kind of feel it. Just leave them. They 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 quiver at the end, and then that's it. I got nothing else. Okay. Next step in the process is to go for the the skin at the neck area where you cut the head off. Just get just get a couple fingers in there. I know it's gross. You'll get past it. Uh, you get a couple fingers in there, and you tear the skin apart, and. Quails are way easier than chickens. The skin just peels right off. I mean, it is super easy. Um, as long as you're careful, uh, you can you can take it off in one in one big piece. But I mean, I'm not trying to be careful here, so I'm probably gonna rip off a couple chunks. Uh, the first big step is to get a finger all the way around the wing. So. You'll want to pull a little bit off at the back of the neck here, and you want to get a finger all the way around this this upper this upper uh, wing bone, and you want to pull the skin down right to that right to that first joint, and then you take your game shears, bring them through there, and you cut cut the wing off. There's really not any meat to speak of in this tip of the wing, so you're not you're not losing anything. Then I continue around the back here, and pull the skin away from the neck and the shoulder and I get another finger in between the armpit area of the the wing on the on the opposite side and same thing I just pull it down to the knuckle and get my game shears in there cut that wing off now at this point uh, where we're darn near done we want to do the same thing with the legs just peel it around the belly and um, around the back don't worry too much about the oil gland area. Just focus on the legs. And just above the knuckle, we're cutting the leg off. And the same thing on the other side. Don't worry about any feathers that get stuck to the that get stuck to the meat in this process. We're going to rinse it off before we uh, before we ice it and before we freeze it. So you want to get a get a finger in there. Again, pull that skin all the way down to the knuckle. Take your game shears in here cut that off just above the knuckle. Now at this point you're connected basically at the vent which is like right there and at this skin above the oil gland and like a chicken it's stuck there better harder more I don't know. Um, you, you, you can sometimes work it so that you're peeling it all off like it magically did for me this time it, it all peeled off um, but 
If it doesn't, don't worry about it because we're actually going to cut a lot of that out. Um, you can't clean a, a well, uh, maybe if you're maybe if you're a tiny person, you have tiny little fingers, you can clean a coil like you can and clean a, a chicken. <laughs> yeah, and a scalpel. Um, uh, I I found uh, that zipping the spine is the fastest way to do it. So I'm just cleaning up some of these feathers here before I before I go at this. So you, you take your, your game shears and you go in this area. Uh, just uh, this is the back, the neck, here, here, here are your two wings. You're going kind of in front of the shoulder behind where our collarbone would be. You want to get next to the spine in between the, the, the organs and the ribs. And if you can work your, your game shears in there, you'll be able to feel the ribs with the game shears. And then once you're in there, you just snip them right up. And you want to cut along the ribs, right along both sides of the spine. And you want to try to be careful and not cut any internal organs. And it's, it's, it's really, it, it might sound difficult. It's super easy to do. And you just, you're just careful. And, and you can feel the, the ribs with the blade and you cut right through the hip bone and you stop before you get to the vent so here's where the oil glands are uh, so if you still had skin attached there work on that out anyway so don't even, work. don't even worry about it so I'm going the same thing on this side I'm getting my game shears in between the organs and the ribs and I'm feeling the ribs with the blade of the game shears on the inside of the bird on the inside of the bird yeah you're kind and of then, holding it loose, so it's like everything's falling down anyway. You got yeah. a little gap to get in there. And once you get back here to the hip, you just kind of get in there with a good bite and cut your way right through it. It's not not really that difficult. Now here's the here's the I'm going to call it the intricate part, and that's only because this is where all the guts are. Um, you don't want to sever any of the guts, uh, so. You just take the edge of your game shears and you make sure that you're only cutting skin or maybe through some fat, but you make sure that, that you're not cutting uh, any intestine when you're going through this area. And it, it's really not that hard to do. You can kind of feel where it's at. You can see that you're not going through anything. And you do it on both sides of the vent, the vent butthole area. The exit. Yeah. And then comes this, the part that makes this my favorite way to clean a bird. Once you've, once you've gone all the way around the, uh, the exit, then you flip the bird back over. Here's the breast and here's the neck and I'm gonna, I'm gonna shove a finger here in between the internal organs and the spine and I'm gonna try to keep my finger up against the, the back of the breastbone. And then all of the organs and everything comes out in one big plop and that's it. That's all of the organs and here's a clean bird. The only thing left in there is a little bit of lung, lung tissue. We get that in the sink, and uh, and that's it. On the outside of the bird, you've got a couple little feathers that are just leftovers. And the legs, since we cut the hip bone, the leg is only connected by a thin membrane right here. You could cut those off and, and store them separately if you if you wanted to. We don't, but you could. We heard about uh, one person who does legs and eggs. <laughs> so uh, that's it. Um, I kind of took my time so I could show you all this stuff. Um, you you can get through a bird in about five minutes. For those of us who prefer our bacon wrapped quail, you can just slip the tip of that bacon right in there where we cut the spine out, close the bird on it, start your wrap. No slippery bacon coming out. We go all the way down around the legs and it's yummy. Mm-hmm. So Enjoy. there you have it. We rinse it, ice it, and vacuum seal.